Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Happy Wednesday. Uh, and welcome to the High Ticket Coach Mastery Show, where we talk about and discuss your top questions for mastering the art and the science of becoming a high ticket coach, a coach that easily brings in 10K months consistently month after month. Today, let's dive right in. I wanna talk about your online course that you're creating. And before we do, let me make sure I can see you guys in case there's any comments, any questions. If you're here live, hashtag live. Um, okay, so let's get this going. Perfect, here we are. And let's make sure you guys can hear me. Great, okay, so uh, a lot of you have, are thinking or have started with an online course or a membership program or some sort of product. And while it's fantastic for you to learn how to do that, that's not necessarily going to be the first thing you should be doing, especially if you want to, um, if you want to be profitable. I also just want to make sure that this is live in our Facebook group because this is where it should be. Um, but here we are. Okay, great. I was trying something new, guys. So if you're here, let me know. Uh, hashtag live. Let me know how you are. Let me know where you're joining us in the world from. And so again, the topic today is we are talking about that online course that you're creating or that podcast or that mastermind, that like product that you're creating. There are two things that you guys should keep in mind as you're building. You can build a product or you can build a service. We encourage all of our clients who we work with, right? So we specifically work with coaches that are not yet at the 10K month, or maybe they are, and they still have some optimizing that they need to do to really get to a place where you are mastering the 10K month. And to get there, you are going to be creating offers. You can have an offer, which is an explanation of the things that you're selling, right? That's your offer. You can have a package. A package is a combination of um, distinct pieces of an offer. A offer, an offer is the, the big umbrella, right? The, the big thing is your offer. And then in your offer, you could have an offer that's a package. You can have an offer that's a program. What's the difference for a coach between a program and a package? A package, you know, most easily is going to be understood to be a combination of one-on-one -on -one or group coaching sessions. So suppose you are a relationship coach and if somebody, you know, comes on and starts working with you and you put seven coaching sessions together and you give them some sort of better deal for signing up for and paying for the seven versus just paying for one-on-one, -on -one, you know, for each one as they go, that's a package. We don't love packages. We love programs because, okay, so which one's going to be, we are high ticket coaches. So that means that all of the clients that we support, we support you with making a program with uh, creating offers that are going to be over a thousand dollars. And if you're going to be just selling your coaching sessions one by one, it's very unlikely that you're going to be, unless if you just have years and years and years, that your hourly rate is $1,000 per hour, right? So if some of you guys are there already, fantastic. Uh, a lot of coaches, especially at the beginning, are not at the place where you're charging you know, $1,000 an hour. Also, we don't want you guys basing your value of what you're bringing to the table based on your hourly basis. We're not doing that. You're not doing that. We don't encourage you to do that. We don't encourage our clients to do, none of our clients do that right? So you're not doing, hi, I'm a life coach and I charge $50 per hour. That's not what you're doing. You could do, and so this is the next step, right? You could put seven of those together, 10 of those together, and all of a sudden you have a package, right? So if you have a package of 10 sessions with you and you know that's selling for $1,000, you've got a package. We also, as monetization specialists, so we work with coaches who want to and are committed to making money, not being broke coaches. There's so many coaches that are broke, they don't have a system and a consistent 
framework for actually bringing in profit, right? For bringing in revenue. So we don't love packages either, okay? We don't love one-on-one -on -one sessions. We don't love packages of just like seven things coming together. So one of our clients, um, she is phenomenal at what she does. She's been doing this for over 30 years. And when she came into our program, she came to us with a package. And I think her package was around $450, $500, something like that. What we did is we said, okay, you have over 30 years of experience. Some of you guys here have, you know, 30 years of experience, 20 years of experience, 10 years of experience, five years of experience, right? Like all of your lived experiences coming together, create something that only you can provide this world with. It's you, baby, that's it. Like no one else can do the coaching you do. You've got a magic in you, you've got a gift in you that no one else on this planet can replicate. That's pretty special. But then the question is, how do you really have your clients understand your magic? How do you have clients go, oh yeah, she's a relationship coach and there's a thousand relationship coaches I could work with, but I wanna work with her, I wanna work with him. This is where your framework, you create a framework. If you guys want to learn how to create a framework, just type monetize in the comments and we can share the link with you. If you're listening to this on podcast, uh, you can just go to highticketclientonline.com and look for the Monetize Masterclass uh, and you will find the masterclass where we talk about how is it that you create your intellectual property? How you, how do you set yourself apart from everybody else who's a relationship coach, everybody else who's a fitness trainer, everybody else who's the, you know, like a marketer, everybody else who is a fitness trainer, everybody else. If you don't have a way of saying, I am the only, right? I, I am the best. I stand apart from the rest of the coaches in my industry because of, then it's gonna be much harder for you to bring on clients and for this to be an easy thing for you to consistently get to that 10K, um, 10K a month revenue milestone that we want for you guys. So enter programs. So we had one-on-one -on -one sessions. We don't like those. Uh, enter packages. That's, you know, three to 10 sessions brought together. Uh, we don't like those. And then enter a program. A program is a hybrid, awesome, cool thing that only you, are, being the coach that you are, can bring to this world. A program allows you to bring in a few different aspects of how it is that you create a transformation. As a coach, your job is to help guide someone on a trajectory of transformation. That's what you're doing. You are taking someone from this place where they don't wanna be anymore and they're trying to go here and you're creating a path for them to get the transformation, the results that they're after. That's what we do as coaches. We look forward and we as mentors can tell them, hey, you know, don't go there because that's, that's, you know, that's not gonna help you get to the results that you're after faster. Do this thing instead. So we create this trajectory of transformation. And we believe the best way to do that is through a program. What is a program? Again, a program is gonna be a combination of few, um, a few pieces that come together. So it includes potentially some packages, right? You could be working one-on-one -on -one with people. You could also be working with people on a group basis. This is all going to depend on how long and how well you know, how long you've been in your space and how well you know your space. If you know your space, like the back of your hand, and you know exactly what copy to say, you know exactly their pain points, you know how to speak to their pain points, you, every time you get on a phone call, yes, yes, Marianne, every time you get on a phone call, you make a sale, you are ready to go ahead and create something that's a little bit, you know, more, you know, just like more rigid. If you're not there yet, if you haven't worked in this space long enough, if you don't understand your industry, right, your niche well enough, you want to give yourself flexibility. You want to give yourself a breathing space. This is why I don't think you shouldn't be starting a course right now. A course, creating a course is the opposite of flexibility. 
Creating a course means you are going to say, I'm gonna fix this problem potentially. So many of you do this. Before anybody said it, I need that course. I need you to solve that problem. And it's not even the, I need you to help me solve this problem. I want this problem solved in this way. If you go straight to an online course, if you go straight to creating an online course, you don't give yourself the time to figure out, huh, I had no idea, that's super interesting. When I work with these people, this thing that I didn't think was that special, they find it to be super helpful and super special. So that's gonna be part of my program. That's gonna be part of the thing that I bring to the world. And so a program, a coaching program, which is what we encourage you guys to build, is going to be a combination of potentially sessions with you. It's going to be potentially some group coaching. It's potentially gonna be some content that lives in your library. It's going to be using your framework, your intellectual property that you've created. It's going to be a recipe for transformation that only you can guide people on. You're it, you're it baby. Like you're the only person that can guide on this particular path of transformation. Let me talk about one of our clients, Melissa. Melissa is an incredible divorce coach, right? So she went through a divorce and it changed her life so much. And it was such um, not the experience she wanted to go through that she said, I don't want any other woman to experience the loneliness, the judgment, the, you know, the hurt, the isolation that I experienced. And so based on her experiences and based on her studying her space and based on books she read and the work she did, all of you guys have done this. You guys have done the work. You guys have read the books. You guys, so many of you have like a thousand certifications, right? You have all the certifications in the world and yet you struggle to bring on clients, right? So it's not just about more information. It's not just about more education. It's not just about more qualifications. It is about really putting things together in such a way that you know what trajectory of transformation you're guiding your clients on, and it's actually somewhere they wanna go. It's not just something you want. So you're guiding them somewhere they wanna go. There's a, a, a result, a benefit at the end that they're looking for. You have the skill set, you have the experience, you've, you've done the work, you're doing more work. And so with Melissa, she said, I really disliked going into these you know, spaces where women who are undergoing a divorce and they're going through this process, they just feel so icky. They feel so negative. Everyone, it's like, they're like talking badly about the ex or it just, it felt so negative. And she said, I want to create a space for women who are undergoing divorce, which is this life altering, life changing, really hard thing to go through. But I wanna create an empowering, beautiful space where women come together and they are looking forward in their future. They're taking their own healing into their own hands where we heal, we rise, and we create a future together, right? And so she's created this intellectual property. She's created a trajectory of transformation that only she owns. And now she can go out and talk to clients and be the only divorce coach who teaches how to go through that transformation trajectory in the way that she guides you through it. You're going to be doing similar, something similar, right? We have a doula in our, in our, you know, it's one of our clients, so excited for her work because she wants to work with new mamas who are bringing new life into the world and she wants to support them through the incredible wealth of experience that she has. And so it's how do you take that wealth of experience and create a program, a coaching program that you charge multiple thousands of dollars for that sets you out to be the unique, the only person who can quite, you know, take people on this trajectory, get them to where they wanna go and do so in a way that lights you up from the inside out, working with people that you love to work with, working with people that want to have a problem solved or be guided on solving a problem and who are super excited to pay you multiple thousands of dollars. So, coach, about that online course, stop it, stop building it. For most of you, if you're just getting started, this is gonna sound a little harsh, and I'm okay with going there, guys, because I love you too much to let you be broke. I do, I love you too much to let you be broke. 
stop building the course. Unless if you know that building your course is going to immediately, very quickly allow you to bring in, you know, dozens of people and continue doing that, you need to take a few steps back, right? And some of you are like, oh, but somebody, big name guru told me I should have a course. Yeah, that works for them because they're a big name guru. You have to make sure that when you do create a course, I'm not saying don't ever create a course. I'm saying there is a right and a wrong time to create a course. And if you're just starting, this is absolutely the wrong time to create a course. This is the right time to get into a relationship with your industry, to know your niche, to see how do you best can support your niche. And when you find that out, when you have worked with enough clients that have paid you thousands of dollars to work with you, which is the only way in our eyes that you validate your offers. Somebody might tell you, hey, Sarah, hey, Johnny, hey, Juan, your, your like, work is amazing. The question at the end of the day is, are they willing to pay? And if someone's willing to pay you $27, guess what? $27 is not gonna make it so you can't support your family month to month. $27 offers are just not gonna cut it at the beginning. $27 offers are phenomenal once you have something that works. So in our eyes, as monetization specialists, the monetization mentors, right? Our focus is that you make sure that you're making money, is you have to sell a a, a program, right? So this is your unique creation that you've put together over a thousand dollars to a complete stranger on the internet. Once you've done that more than once for our clients, it's three times. Once you have sold three multiple thousand dollar programs to strangers on the internet who you converted to clients because you knew how to empathize and you knew how to be compassionate to them and you knew how to speak to them and you knew how to get them in their world and you know that you're delivering results that they want, then you can start thinking about building your course, not sooner. Then you can create that $27, you know, smaller course. Then you can start really focusing on your podcast, start focusing on all the other things that you coaches get busy focusing on. The only thing, that you should be focusing on right now is making sure that you know who you're serving, that you love serving that group of people, that those people already have their hand on their credit card thinking, I sure wish somebody would solve this problem for me or guide me on solving this problem. That's your only job to identify who those people are and then go help them solve the problem. And as you identify how to best solve that problem, that's where your course is gonna come from. That's where your products are gonna come from. So you start with services, not with products, and you make sure that you validate your offerings, your programs, before you go on and you build something that is just gonna keep you busy, but broke. So guys, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments what really stood out to you. Uh, I'll stay on for a little bit. If you guys have any questions, I will answer your questions right now. I am looking to see if you guys have any, any questions here. Let me know. And if not, I am going to call it a day for today. Remember, every single, uh, every single Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST, we come on here to provide you guys with the most, you know, top of, uh, most relevant, top of mind, necessary information that you need to have for you to become a coach that masters the art and the science of becoming a high ticket coach, a coach that can consistently bring in 10K months. And so if you would ever want some support on that journey, that is what we do every single day. Uh, those are the kinds of problems for coaches that we eat for breakfast. So we have you know client after client after client. We just had one of our clients that came into our program uh, sell their first high ticket program yesterday. And we asked him, ah, oh, so excited. Like, so what'd you do? What was, he was just, I just followed the plan. I just followed the recipe that you guys gave me. So, uh, if you guys want more support, you can just type monetize in the comments. We'll make sure to reach out. Uh, but other than that, we will catch you again next week. Goodbye, everybody.